Well, this looks a little different. Hello everyone, and welcome to Hitchhikers Episode 8. It's good to see ya. I haven't had a lot of time to properly make videos as of late because of uh, IRL stuff. So I've been doing some work off camera and I may have gotten a little carried away here and built up some pretty decent sized cliffs here. And you know what? I think they look pretty cool. Even though they're just stone, I think they look pretty cool. And my reasoning for building these cliffs is I've decided I want to build a sort of wizard's grove type area over here for our base. And I wanted a little bit of separation kind of to act like a transition from the rest of the world. So when you walk through here and then the space opens up, you can really kind of feel like you're immersed into the magic of the area. And so that required a lot of terrain work. So I just went ahead and did it in the little bits of free time that I had where I didn't feel like I could properly record either because I was tired or just didn't have enough time. And that may be a common theme for a little while yet as I'm still pretty busy IRL and I'm trying to get videos out when I can. Like today, for example, I am attempting to record this entire video inside of one day so I can upload it tomorrow because I have to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, so wish me luck. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Now, the thing I've been struggling with trying to build up a wizard's grove is it's really only me out here. So there wouldn't be like a lot of buildings out here, just the things that I need. And one of the things that I think I should build first is a stable for Philip over here as he still doesn't have a home and he's been around for quite a few episodes at this point. So I'm going to grab a few blocks and just kind of start building something. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to look like yet, but I guess we'll find out. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here between the gorge and my tower over here. So I'm just going to start placing blocks, I guess, and hope that this looks good. I'm kind of thinking of having a little building off to the side of where the actual like horse stable is going to be, where you would kind of keep like your saddles and all your horse feed and things. And I've somehow made a two block center, but that's OK. We can make that work. Now that that's done, we can move on to making the actual horse stable part. OK, I think this will work. Let's get this frame put in. OK, let's take a look at it real quick. And I think I like it. It's not my best build by far, but I think it'll work. It'll do the job. And you know what? I think I'm going to fill the roof and the walls in and then I'll take a second look. Now for the walls, I'm going to do the same sort of technique I used on my house. Kind of create some plaster looking walls. So it's just a nice combination of birch oak and sandstone. Okay, I'm liking this part of the build, but this part, it's it's not doing it for me. And I think it's mostly the roof. So I'm going to tear this one off and see if I can come up with something else. These are the parts of the videos that you don't really see very often, but since I'm so crunched for time, I'm putting them in. I'm kind of thinking at this point, I'm going to mimic what I did with my house over there rather than doing a stone building. I think that might look a little bit better. One thing I'm trying to keep in mind while building this is the whole fantasy theme and making sure everything has a little bit of a whimsical effect to it. So adding in weird shapes with my frame here and just odd placements for different beams and things can help with that. Like maybe our supports aren't quite straight. Maybe the building will fall over but we definitely won't worry about it. Anyway, I think that's enough explaining. I'm just gonna get the rest of this built real quick. So one thing that really helps to kind of get a build to feel like it's not just placed in the world, but actually like in the world and kind of more immersive is just adding things like grass and bushes, paths, and they really help bring the build to life and give it just a little bit more character. Just something like this that really helps to get the build feel like it's actually in the world rather than just kind of sitting there on its own. But I'm going to call the stables done for now and move on to the next project. And that is I'm out of diamonds. I have no diamonds anymore. I am completely out. 
but it's been a few days since we built our shop, so we're going to head to the shopping district and see if we have turned a profit. And here we are. Oh, yes, first barrel. We've got nine diamonds right there. Oh, yes, we sold some leaves. I don't, what, were these acacia? I, don't, I have no idea. Okay, any custom orders? Ooh, you have a custom order. A tree in need. Okay. Mr. Moss Raven, we are in need of six shulkers of moss. DB, or diamond blocks, are burning holes in my pocket just waiting for this order to arrive. Chash. Okay, and it looks like they've paid five diamond blocks. That should be plenty. So a custom order, and what is this? 57 diamonds. That, that is much, much, much better. Put those away real quick before I forget. But I guess now I need to go and collect six shulkers of moss. But that shouldn't be too difficult with my handy dandy moss farm. So I'm just going to sit here and watch the moss. And I'm out of bone meal. Okay. Well, how much moss do we got down here now? A little bit in here. Oh, a lot in here. But it's just enough to fill all six of these shulker boxes full of moss. Lovely, lovely moss. So we're going to pick these up and go make ourselves a delivery. And for this delivery, I'm going to need a barrel, a couple of chains and some seeds. Now, while I would love to build a giant raven delivering all of our moss, I have neither the time or skill to do that. So we're going to find a parrot instead. Well, you aren't a parrot. You're just a tiny little chicken. <gasps> You're a parrot. Oh, there's two of you. Uh, I'll take the blue one. Blue one. Yay! All right, that was that was way easier. You know what? Back up, parrot. Well, now that we have our mascot, let's go make our delivery. I have to say, Shash and Kogi's portal is, I think, one of the best portals on the server, and one of the best portals I've ever seen. This thing is amazing—a beautiful fallen tree with a portal inside, with some big old friendly mushrooms growing out the top of it. It's so so cool. And that there, that is that is tree, the the project that they are wanting donations for, and that is most definitely not a cult. But quickly moving on, we're going to uh, just plop our barrel up here. Some of this. You can all probably imagine where this is going. All the way up here. Come on. No, don't fly away now. Come back. Oh, you were you were so close. All the way up, buddy. Come on. Now, how did you get there? Okay, this is the tricky part, I'm trying to get this bird to to land right here. Sit. Oh, okay. Now we have to kind of nudge him right in the very middle of the trap door. Perfect. Okay. Let me carefully. Oh, don't move. Just just stay right there. You hang out there and uh We'll put the moss in here. Oh, I should I should make a sign. There we go. Your moss delivered via a totally legit raven. See? Totally legit raven. Perfect. Well, now that our shop business has been taken care of, why don't we return home and do a little bit more work there? Ah, yes, our mossy wizard's grove. How wonderful this place will be once it's complete. However, before we can do that, we really need to start adding some of the atmospheric elements, some magic crystals, maybe some cool ancient statues, lots of trees, of course. It wouldn't be much of a grove after all if there were no trees. It would it would just be a field and uh, I'm not not living in a field. Now, if you missed the beginning of the previous episode, you will know that we summoned a lightning storm, which was supposed to summon some answers as to what we were doing in the portal in the first episode. And since the lightning didn't do anything except uh, roast my pants, why don't we try something a little bit more wizardry and magical? Now, every wizard has to have their tower, of course. However, you don't want to conjure where you sleep. It, it, trust me, it's a bad idea. But I think this area here will do nicely. So we're going to build a little summoning circle to get the answers that we're looking for about this portal. And you know what? I think we're going to do this in a little bit of a time lapse. So sit back, relax, and let's get to work.
And there we have it, my ravens. A beautiful summoning circle. Equipped with some spooky ancient statues. Kind of cool. Kind of eerie. Kind of like it. But the moon is most definitely not full. In fact, it's almost empty. But it is high in the sky, which is the perfect time to perform this summoning ritual. Please ignore the nether portal. It will move. I am just too lazy to do so right now. And in order to do so, we need an amethyst cluster, an ender pearl, a pitcher pod, and a golden apple. And if we just throw these into our pot here, we should be starting to get the magic juices going. We say the magic words, magic words, and hopefully, okay. And with that, the ritual is complete. It would have been cool if like lightning struck. That would have been really cool. But okay, now that the ritual's done, uh, we have to wait just a little bit and we're, we're going to do that by sleeping because it's getting dangerous out here. And now that it is daytime, anything we summon should appear here. What is this? Like a big seed? Okay. We have a book. Plant this seed of wisp willow tree and the answers you seek will be revealed once grown. Okay, well, that's uh, simple enough, I guess. Now the question is, where do I want to plant this thing? I guess right there works. It can grow however big it's going to grow. And once it does, I suppose we'll finally be getting the answers as to why I was in the portal, where did I come from, where was I going, and all that good garb. But until then, that is all I have got time for today. I know it's a much shorter episode than normal, but I have uh, completely run out of time. It is way past my bedtime and I'm tired. So uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya!